All right, today we're gonna put a NEMA 1450 pigtail on a Rivian wall charger. Um, typically this needs to be hardwired in um, so you can get the full 48 amps on a 60 amp breaker. Um, we've got a 50 amp breaker. We've got a NEMA 1450 outlet already. So we're going to put this pigtail on there so we can use it. And it's actually a pretty straightforward process. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So first of all, here's all the things we need. We've got the instruction manual, the wall charger. We bought this dryer NEMA 1450, uh, plug from Amazon. So I'll put the link on the, uh, in the comments and then you just need your screwdrivers and the Rivian wall charger comes with this little Torx bit that you'll need to get the cover off of the the wall charger. So make sure you look for that when you get the charger. Um, and then you'll just need your own screwdriver that you can use with that bit. And then I think we'll probably need some flatheads when we get inside to actually connect the wires. Um, and one thing to note on the plug that we bought, it did come with these little connectors on here. So I just had to cut those off with some wire cutters and then, um, you know, uh, strip the, the coverings off so we can have some exposed wire. And really, we're just going to need the black, the red, and the white. I mean, in the green, the, the white will cap because um, that won't be used. Um, and obviously, the red and the black, and then the, the, the green is the, uh, the ground. And again, I'm not an electrician. Um, so if you're not comfortable with this, uh, obviously, get an expert to help you out with it. Um, but if you're comfortable, it's a relatively straightforward process. Um, but of course, do all this at your own risk. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is take off the cover from the wall charger. So you'll get your Torx bit, um, put it on a screwdriver that it works with, that it fits with. And then there's these two black screws in the back or on the bottom of the wall charger. You'll just unscrew those. Make sure you don't lose those so you can close the cover later. And then we'll want to pop the cover off and you just push it up towards the top of the wall charger and it should just lift off. And one thing to be careful of is some of the wall chargers may have this connect, this wire already connected. So you want to make sure you just don't pull it off too quickly. Um, so take it off slowly and then you may have to disconnect this wire. Mine was already disconnected. And then we'll put this on the side where it's safe. And, um, oh, one important thing over here, actually, if you look on the charger, it's got, or on the wall plate that the cover of the wall plate that you just took off, if it's got these dip switch settings and the dip switch sets are right here. So what you're going to want to do is set it to what your wall outlet is at, what the breaker is. So you don't pull more electricity than you need to, or more amperage than you can. Um, just to be safe. And so ours is a 50 amp. So if you look on here, it's got a circuit breaker specification, 50 amp. So you want one and two up and three down. And so you pull three down, you got one, two up, three down. Typically when you get the charger, it'll be with all three up, which is set for 60 amps, which is what the charge is really meant for. So make sure you update that or change that the first thing you do when you get inside. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to get your, your wire into the charger. The, uh, the Rivian Wallbox charger does come with a punch out hole on the bottom that you can just get a screwdriver and a hamper and punch out. I've actually already kind of done it, as you can see here. Um, so I'll just, you know, I'll push that in and then the rest of it. Yeah, you can just get that out of there. There you go. That, that comes right out. And you can see it's got lines on it. So you just kind of want to put your screwdriver on the, the wider circle and just kind of hit around, not too hard. And it, it pops out pretty easily. Um, and so that'll enable you to get your wires through. Um, and we'll get a little room over here. So you're just gonna want to feed your wires through that slot that you just punched out. Simple enough. And actually, let me, I'll take a break here. I'm just gonna cap that white wire uh, before we go further and that way we don't have to worry about that later. 
Okay, so now that you've got the back punched out, we're ready to put the, uh, the wires in. So the first thing we'll wanna do is just cap that white wire because we're not gonna need it. Uh, so I'm just gonna cap it here. And, um, and then I'll wrap that with electrical tape as well just to be safe. And we're just gonna wanna feed that through that punched hole, all three or all four wires. And then make sure you line it up to where you want the, the prongs of your plug facing the wall so you can plug it in properly. And yeah, I think we're good there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is put the green wire in the middle and then you can go uh, black wire in the L1, the left slot, red wire in the L2, the, the far right slot and uh, unscrew these and we'll feed them in and then tighten it up, make sure they're in there good. You don't have to get too tight, but you wanna make sure they're not gonna come out. Um, and you can see the wires that are already in there for the, uh, for the charger itself are in there. So you can kind of see how they should be in there. So we'll go ahead and do that and then, uh, and then we'll be back. All right, so we got all three wires in. We got the white one capped. Um, and the wires actually went in pretty easily. The only tricky part is just getting all three lined up since they're so thick and kind of pushing them in at the same time. But if you loosen the screws enough, they, re they really do kind of slide right in. And then you just tighten the screws. And like I said, you'll kind of feel the screws tighten up. So um, you don't want to get them too tight, but just you know, tight enough to hold the wires in place. Okay, and now, all right, now we're ready to put the cover back on. And um, there's this wire that we need to to cover the, to connect the, the charger itself to the, to the cover and the board over here. So you can see it just goes right there. You can see how the slots line up. So that's pretty straightforward. So just get that lined up and should fit right in. Make sure it's in there good. Yeah, it is. All right. Then just make sure that wire's okay when you put the cover back on. It goes on just opposite of how we took it off. Put it on, slide it down. Then we'll grab these torque screws, get them back on, and we will be ready to plug this in. Uh, one thing I was gonna suggest, which I'll do after the fact is, as you can see, the, the charger wires got, got some of these screws and things like nuts on there to keep the wire in place and not pull on the circuit board and where the wires are screwed in. I'd recommend doing that. You don't want the weight of these plugs. They're pretty heavy. You don't want it pulling and then maybe one of the wires comes loose. So definitely recommend doing that. Okay, it's connected. Now we'll go plug it in and see if it works. All right, here we are in the garage, excuse the mess. Um, but to test it out, we'll just go into this NEMA 1450 extension I've got, make sure it just powers up and that everything looks okay. And then we'll mount it up and install it properly after that. So here we go, plugged in. And as you can see, it lit up. And looks like we're good. So now we just, uh, we'll get this installed and set up through the app after we get it mounted and we'll be good to go. And that's how you put a pigtail on the uh, Rivian wall charger. All right, thanks, bye.